Hey guys, Mr. Burns here again, and I'm going to bring you another video on powers, and this one specifically on a few more exponent laws, power of power, power of product, and power of a quotient. All right, so let's check out this rule. So um, this is power of a power, and basically what we have here is a power with another exponent on it. Okay, so let's write this out as repeated multiplication. So we'll keep 2 to the 2, even though we know it's 4, we'll keep it as 2 to the 2 for now. Okay, so we'll go 2 to the 2 times 2 to the 2 times 2 to the 2. So we have 2 to the 2 multiplied by itself three times because of our exponent 3. Okay, but we also know from our last video that uh, when we're multiplying powers with the same base, we add the exponent. So I have 2 to the 2, so I go 2 plus 2 plus 2, so that's 2 to the 6. So what I have is uh, this thing is equal to 2 to the 6. So another way we could have done this actually a lot simpler would be simply to multiply these exponents. Okay, when we have a power of a power, we multiply exponents. Okay, very important. When we have a power of a power, we multiply exponents. All right, let's check out a couple of examples. All right, very similar to the last one, we have 5 to the 3 to the exponent 4. So I go 3 times 4 is 12. So this is equal to 5 to the 12. And this one, same thing. So the only difference here is I have a negative base. So remember, my base doesn't change. I got negative 3. 2 times 2 is 4. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Anytime you have a power of a power, you multiply exponents. All right, so next rule, next law, power of a product. So this one's a little different than the last one, just in the fact that instead of inside the brackets here of having another power, you have basically a multiplication operation. So in this case, we have 3 times 4. So um, what we can, in fact, do for these is basically just distribute this power to each of these things, to each of the numbers inside. All right, so let me illustrate why. So let's let's forget about what I just did there. And let's write this out as a repeated multiplication. So again, we're just going to take what's inside there. So we're going to go 3 times 4 times 3 times 4 again. Okay? So we wrote it out wrote it out as repeated multiplication. And now I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit. So I'm going to, instead of having 3 times 4, I'm going to 3 times 3 times 4 times 4. So what I am, in fact, end up with 3 times 3, that's the same as 3 to the 2, because technically they have exponent 1s on them. You can add them together. 1 plus 1 is 2. And the same thing for this 4 to the 1 times 4 to the 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, so 4 to the 2. Okay, so that's that's our uh, simplified version of that, even though it probably looks a little bit more complicated. Um, so what we could have done is just like I said there in the first, put this exponent here, put this here. It distributes throughout the, the, the product inside the brackets. Okay? All right. Um, let's try this one. So again, instead of writing it out this time, we'll just distribute. So we go to here, to here. So we have negative 2, whoops, still trying to get the hang of this uh, pen tablet here, so negative 2 to the 2 times 4 to the 2, so that's 4, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times 4 times 2, uh, 4 times 4, sorry, I almost made that mistake, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 16 is 64, okay, so, um, I will give you guys a little bit of a uh, note of caution here. It, you could easily have done this problem, maybe even easier, just to multiply what's inside the brackets first. So we could sort of ignore the law if you wanted to, to solve this problem. So I can go negative 2 times 4. Well, that's negative 8 squared. Negative 8 to 2 is going to be the same thing. 64, negative 8 times negative 8 is 64. So again, you could, you could have reached this problem two different ways. In reality is I'd probably do it this way, unless there was some reason why the 
problem asks me to specifically use power product or something like that or I might think that or the numbers that I multiply here are going to be really really large um, I might do it individually but again just see what's the best method for you all right here's another one so I got 2 to the 2 times uh, negative 3 to the 2 and all in brackets 2 so this time we distribute but there's these exponents that are lying here Okay, that are already here. There's a 2 here and there's a 3 here already. So what we have to do in this case is use our power of a power rule okay, and multiply the exponents. Okay, just in this case we have more than one exponent to multiply. So this becomes 2 to the 2 times 2 is 4 times negative 3. Our base stays the same. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, and we have different uh, bases here, so we can't you multiply powers or add powers, multiply powers using the adding exponents rule. Can't do that because we have different bases. We just have to uh, go ahead and, and compute that using our calculator. So I'm not going to do that, but um, you guys can try with the calculator if you want there, or you can work it out in your head if you can. Um, let's have a look at our last rule, power of a quotient. This one's actually fairly useful. Um, so let's let's dissect what we have here. So our base here really is 1 over 4. Okay, We have a base of 1 over 4, or in brackets, 1 divided by 4. It's really the same thing. So let's have a look at what this actually means. So we have 1 over 4 times 1 over 4. Now, we could rewrite that if we want it to look, make it look like this. 1 times 1 all over 4 times 4. So what we, in fact, end up with, let me just make these multiplication signs a little bit better. So what we, in fact, end up with is, um, let me move this up here, it's just 1 squared divided by 4 squared. So in fact, all we did was distribute this exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So it's really the same thing as a power over product and a power over power. It's just that we have the divide sign now instead of a multiplication sign. Okay, so the 2 distributes down. Let's have a look at a couple examples. Alrighty, so what we can do is distribute this 2 to each one of these things. So we have 2 to the 2, and we have a negative here, and the 2 is outside the bracket, so that's negative 3 to the 2. Okay, so 2 to the 2 is 4. So I wrote that wrong. Two to the two is four, so now I have negative three to the two, so that's negative three times negative three, and that's nine. Okay, so this is this is useful sometimes. This one is a more useful uh, one of the exponent laws, and very important to know. But again, if you're ever stuck, you're not sure what to do. Well, just write it out as your repeat of multiplication. So you could write this one out as uh, negative two over three times negative two over three. And just go ahead and multiply it across the top, multiply it across the bottom, just like you were doing. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. Done. But essentially, we're doing that anyway. Okay. Also important to recognize, guys, it doesn't matter where this negative sign goes. Could go right here. Could go right here. Could go right here. It's all the same thing, right? Negative 2 over 3 is equal to negative 2 over 3 is equal to 2 over negative 3. Okay. So these are all this, exactly the same things. Okay, and my equal sign should look like that. Those are, I don't even know what those things are. All right, so um, hope this got, hope this helped you out, guys. I'll uh, I'll see you in class, and if you need any more help, check out some of my videos or send me a message on YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys.